students teacher colleagues friends i once again welcome you to my video lecture on blood its composition and function the blood composition and function with special reference to human blood why i am specifically referring the human blood there are two reasons one is the human blood because human life is very important human blood has been studied in very detail and it has developed into a science by itself hematology second human blood or mammalian blood is different from the blood of other animals like apes reptiles amphibians fish now let us go into the details what is blood blood is a fluid connective tissue it is a tissue just like nervous tissue epithelial tissue it is a tissue what type of tissue it is a connective tissue but it is in the fluid form in the liquid form it can flow from one place to another under natural conditions while inside the body while inside the blood vessels it can flow from one place of the blood body to the another it contains plasma the fluid part of the blood is known as plasma or it is the matrix in a typical connective tissue there will be a matrix here the matrix is known as plasma and it also contains a variety of blood cells blood connects all the organs and tissues of the body this is uh, the chart showing the composition of the blood in blood there is plasma blood corpuscles or blood cells mass wise plasma is more than 50% it is almost 55% whereas all the blood cells together make 45% the blood corpuscles are three types or bc red blood corpuscles or red blood cells they are also known as erythrocytes number 2 wbc white blood cells they are also known as leukocytes third platelets or thrombocytes this is the composition of the blood plasma blood cells the blood cells are three types erythrocytes leukocytes blood platelets or thrombocytes now let us take the plasma first plasmid is the fluid part of the blood it is light yellow colored viscous fluid because it contains number of proteins number of uh, lipids even carbohydrates therefore it is viscous it contains 90 to 92% water the proteins make 5 to 8% the important part of the plasma proteins or fibrinogen fibrin fibrinogen clot they are useful in clotting of the blood whenever the blood comes out of the blood cells it immediately clots and the factor that is main factor that is responsible for clotting of the blood is fibrinogen it also contains globulins different types of globulins the immunoglobulins in immunology we will study they are defense in function protect the body against infections against wounds against uh, cancers like that albumins 
they maintain the osmotic balance or major proteins fibrinogen globulins albumins the plasma also contains minerals like sodium calcium magnesium bicarbonates chlorides in the form of ions so these are uh, cations these are anions it also contains some organic substances like glucose amino acids lipids blood coagulating factors are usually present in the blood in the normal blood but in inactive state the blood contains blood coagulating factors like fibrinogen but under normal conditions they are inactive but whenever there is a bleeding there is a cut there is an wound whenever there is clotting of blood is necessary they become active plasma without clotting factors is called serum plasma without clotting factors by some technique by centrifugation or by settling the blood we can separate the clotting factors from the plasma that is called serum then common name red blood cells for red blood cells or red blood corpuscles origin where do they develop from they develop from red bone marrow differentiated from the myeloid stem cells important factor to remember origin is from red bone marrow in red bone marrow there will be myeloid cells these are the mother cells of rbc from which the rbc differentiates so red bone marrow is also known as erythropoietic organ morphology biconcave in other animals like birds reptiles amphibians they are biconvex but here biconcave mature erythrocytes do not contain nucleus enucleated this is the specialty of the mammalian blood in all the mammals except the camel the rbc or without nucleus human blood also human rbc also except in camel they are also devoid of mitochondria mitochondria are absent in rbc and are only 7 to 8 milli microns in size a typical blood in a healthy person there will be 5 to 5.5 million cubic millimeters milliliters cc 5 to 5 life span very important to remember for how many days they live generally 100 to 130 days depending upon the age depending upon the health condition of a person depending upon even the gender but average 120 days life span of the rbc after 120 days or after 130 days they degenerate they go to the spleen and they are removed main constants contain red colored pigment known as hemoglobin the main constituent of the hemoglobin is iron a special protein for transporting gases mainly oxygen and carbon dioxide hemoglobin carries the oxygen carbon dioxide when it combines with oxygen it forms the oxyhemoglobin 12 to 16 grams of hemoglobin for 100 ml of blood in a normal person but this may slightly vary from male to female function 
gas transport delivery of oxygen to and removal of carbon dioxide from cells in the body from the heart the heart receives the blood from the lungs purified blood oxygenated blood it pumps the blood to different organs there the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place the carbon dioxide is again carried to the heart then to the lungs removal worn out the old rbc or destroyed periodically they are destroyed for every 100 to 120 130 days rbc or destroyed new rbc are produced from the myeloid cells and they are removed by spleen this spleen is known as grave or of rbc grave and or hemolytic organ then leukocytes wbc common name white blood cells wbc origin bone marrow differentiated from both lymphoid and myeloid stem cells bone marrow differentiated from both lymphoid and myeloid stem cells rbc are only from myeloid cells but these are also different being differentiated from lymphoid cells point to remember structure large nucleated this is the difference between rbc and wbc different leukocytes have different sizes but generally they are between 10 to 20 millimicrons larger than rbc number 6000 to 8000 cells per cc of blood also important function immune response these rbc is a w leukocytes wbc main function is protecting the blood body against the infections against the foreign bodies against the toxins identification of foreign organisms like viruses bacteria or their toxins and removal of pathogens lifespan short to live hours to days rbc 100 to 120 days but here they live for only few hours or just two, two three days types there are several types of wbc with the different specific functions there are different types wbc are different rbc are only one type and these functions remove that revolve around the immunity though there are different types of leukocytes wbc on the whole if we take their function in protecting the body so white blood cells with different specific functions rbc are only one type but wbc are different types a variety of wbc leukocytes are identified but on the whole though there may be a, a variety of leukocytes on the whole their function is protection of the blood the body against the infections against the foreign bodies against the toxins anything that is foreign to the body if it is harmful to the body that aspect will be protected by the leukocytes now leukocytes types different types granulocytes a granulocytes granulocytes are eosinophils basophils neutrophils depending upon the dye they take and stain 
eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils, acid dyes, basic dyes and neutral. Agranulocytes or monocytes, lymphocytes, B cells, T cells, NK cells. B cells, T cells, NK cells. Oh. Now if you see granulocytes, among the granulocytes, neutrophils are in very large number. 60 to 65 percent of the granulocytes or if you take on the whole leukocytes, neutrophils are in large number. A granulocytes without granules in the cytoplasm whereas the granulocytes contain certain granules in their cytoplasm. Granulocytes, a granulocytes without. These are monocytes 6 to 8 percent, lymphocytes 20 to 25 percent. These lymphocytes are three types, B cells, T cells and NK cells, natural killer cells. Remember this point, this is very important chart. The most abundant leukocytes are neutrophils, then lymphocytes. The lymphocytes are three types, B cells, T cells, NK cells. Then if you see the functions of the lymphocytes, neutrophils, monocytes, phagocytic. Suppose if a bacterium, if a virus enter, they engulf phagocytic in function. Neutrophils, mono. Basophils secrete histamine, serotonin, heparin. Secrete histamine, serotonin, heparin. Eosinophils resist infection and allergic reactions. So we are allergic to certain chemicals, certain things. So such type of things are resisted by eosinophils. Lymphocytes, three types, B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, NK cells. The details which we will study in again in immunology. B lymphocytes produce antibodies, very important point. B lymphocytes produce antibodies. T lymphocytes produce toxins. They detoxify the toxins. Then NK cells attack infectious microbes and certain tumor cells. Infectious microbes like bacteria, viruses, protozoa, fungi, like that microbes and certain tumor cells. Suppose in cancer certain tumor cells arise de novo within the body. It is not an infection but within the body there. Against the such tumor cells the NK cells fight and protect. So on the whole if you see engulfing, producing certain chemicals, resisting the infections, allergic reactions, lymphocytes, producing the antibodies, toxins, attacking the infectious microbes and tumor cells. On the whole, the function of the leukocytes is protection of the body. Then platelets or thrombocytes, platelets or th common name platelets, origin bone marrow, again bone marrow, with Thin megakaryocytes. There are some specialized cells in the bone marrow known as megakaryocytes. From the megakaryocytes, they differentiate. Each megakaryocyte, 2000 to 3000, are formed. So, platelets are formed from megakaryocytes. Megakaryocytes in turn from bone marrow. Structure small, 
roughly 2 to 4 micrometers contain many small vesicles but are enucleated without nucleus just like RBC. Then number this one lakh fifty thousand to three lakh fifty thousand per cc of blood lifespan between eight to twelve days rbc 120 days wbc few hours few days but here just little more 8 to 12 function release a variety of substances involved in blood clotting blood platelets main function is clotting of blood mainly fibrinogen prevention of blood loss by clotting the blood the flow outflow of the blood is prevented loss of blood is prevented plus liquid component containing water salts macromolecules coagulation factors proteins involved in the clotting of the blood serum again plasma without coagulation factors hematocrit ratio of the rbc to blood volume in the given volume of blood how many rbc are there within the normal range or not that is estimated through a process known as hemocrit buffy coat the buffy coat is the fraction of anticoagulated blood sample that contains most of the white blood cells and platelets following the density gradient centrifugation the blood is subjected to a process known as centrifugation that is density gradient centrifugation but a fraction of the anticoagulated blood within that tube will be known as buffy coat this buffy coat is estimated in case of malarial diagnosis then complete blood count cbc sometimes cbb complete blood picture test gives important information about the types and numbers of cells in our blood especially the red blood cells and their percentage hemocrit how many rbc are there in a indirectly how much of hemoglobin is present or protein content hemoglobin white blood cells and platelets complete how many rbc how many wbc how many platelets or how much of fibrinogen all these details that is known as complete blood the results of a CBC may diagnose conditions like anemia, less RBC, less hemoglobin, that is called he, and other blood disorders. Platelet count and plasma clotting tests, prothrombin time, partial thromboplastin time, and thrombin time may be used to evaluate bleeding and clotting disorders this is platelet count is usually done whether clotting factors are normal or not or whether the blood clots within the normal time or not and disorders some disorders are there where the blood uh, doesn't clot properly just like hemophilia that is a uh, through blood plate count then functions of the blood on the whole transporting oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and tissues from lungs to heart heart to different parts forming blood clots whenever there is a cut accidentally a wound or other thing the by clotting the blood it protects the body it protects itself 
excess blood loss, carrying cells and antibodies to fight infection. For example, there is a wound, there is an infection in your finger or any part of the body, immediately the leukocytes are rushed to that particular site to protect against the infection, further spread of the infection. Bringing waste product to the kidneys and liver, just like ammonia from the liver, it is carried to the kidneys or urea. Filter and clean the blood, regulating body temperature. The body temperature, because of the blood continuously flows in our body, the body temperature is maintained. Constant body. Some common disorders, anemia, less count of RBC or less amount of hemoglobin. These are interrelated. Less count of RBC means less hemoglobin. Leading to fatigue, pale skin and other symptoms. Blood clotting that form inside the blood vessels and create blockage which can be life-threatening. If clots become dislodged and move through the heart, to the lungs, this is pulmonary embolism. Heart, heart problem, if the blood clots in the blood capillaries supplying the blood to the heart muscles. Blood cancers such as leukemia, myeloma, lymphoma occur when blood cells start to divide uncontrollably without dying off at the end of their life cycle, particularly WBC they should die after few hours or very few days. But sometimes they do not die. Not only that, more number of WBC are produced in case of cancers like leukemia, myeloma, lymphoma. Hemophilia, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, these are the blood disorders already we have studied in somewhere in genetics. Genetical disorders. Thank you. This is uh, about blood composition. The various uh, components present in the blood just like plasma, blood cells, RBC, WBC, platelets in WBC granulocytes, agranulocytes, various types of white blood cells, their functions, this we have studied. Thank you very much.